Hi friends, this is the first video of India Tech channel. In our channel, we'll be uploading the videos in which we see what's inside various things. So in this video, we'll be exploring what's inside a shock chewing gum. I hope you all will like it. So here is our shock chewing gum, which I bought yesterday for $1. See, as you can see, it is written use at your own risk, not recommended for children under 14 years old. So basically what happens is when you pull this bar, you'll experience a shock. So let's see what's inside this. So we'll start from opening from here. This is easy. So as you can see, there is a plastic cover inside this. Which holds the circuit inside. So let's open this up. First we'll remove all these papers. May take some time because it is glued perfectly. So here you can see this is the main circuit which is used to give you a shock. These are the cells or the main power supply of this circuit. This is a capacitor. Actually, what happens is uh, this is this power supply goes to the capacitor which can uh, which gets all the charge in it and then it goes to a primary uh, transformer which in turn gives the power to the secondary transformer and that secondary transformer has ma uh, many coils so that because of many loops the voltage is increased and you experience a shock and when you pull this this will complete a circuit and you experience a shock. So let's open it up also. This is the power supply. We'll disconnect it. Okay. So here is our capacitor. And here we go. As you can see, the main power supply is first connected to the bar which you pull up and that is connected via this wire so first thing is this wire when you pull it up it completes the circuit second thing is these buttons we'll try to remove these also okay. hard to remove so we'll use this yes as you can see first thing was this wire Second thing was these four small cells. Third thing is this covering which was holding the whole packet. Fourth thing is this capacitor. This is the capacitor which holds the whole charge and gives you the shock. This is the main game. So we'll disconnect this one also from the circuit. So this is the fourth thing and this is the main bar or you could say the input for completing this whole circuit and these are small small thing which are used to complete the circuit this spring is used so that when you pull up it goes back 
to the same position and it is the covering in which the whole circuit resides so i hope you like this video if you think that we are doing good so you can recommend us what you need to see so just recommend what you want to see inside so and subscribe this video like this video and share this video with all your friends thank you